This morning we're going to look at getting distinct values in MongoDB. <clears throat> and we're going to uh, access this by using the db run command. And so first of all, let's pull up our collection SQL in 6 here. And we will look at, let's go ahead and look at the collection first, fastdata.find.pretty. And you can see if I was to look at distinct values on ID, it would be pretty obvious um, that each value in ID is unique. In other words, that's kind of our you know primary key essentially. Um, none of these are the same, right? But if we notice, if we look over at house, we'll see there are some similarities. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's execute uh, or let's go ahead and learn how to uh, look at distinct values. So the first thing we're going to do in db run command is we're going to, uh, in the brackets, look at this distinct. And this is going to be the collection name, which in this case is fast data, right? Okay. And then we want to look at which item. So I'm going to look at house, okay? And we'll compare in a second. But I'm going to pass in the key house. And this this is like the field that we're looking at or the key the reason why i think i say the key a lot is because it's json and so it's it's very much like an array where you have you know a uh, key value pairs and um so but when i say key field those are those are all the same things okay or column in some cases because in the world of sql that's how it comes back and you'll see that in the the values here we have a null we have 440 442 443 445 and uh, 510 and if we go and we scroll up and we look at these documents, actually what I'll do is stretch this out a little bit, you can see that this actually makes a lot of sense, right? In other words, 443 is repeated four times. 445 is repeated twice. However, one of them is an address, so this is counted as null, and we can show that if we look at this. Let's look at the key address instead of house and we get two, right? Because there's only two addresses in our, um, in our uh, collection. Okay, now let's look at ID instead of address or house. And you'll notice we get one through 10, okay? Because of course this is unique. So I, I'd suggest playing around with this. Um, this is how you pass in distinct, of course, run command distinct, and then the key that you're looking at. So distinct is gonna be the collection, and then the key. You can also go a step further and uh, do a comma and then pass in an actual query if you want as well.